Hi guys and welcome back to another Dot Race video and today we're going to be playing Ride 4 and today we're going to be doing some more online races or at least commentating the races from a few days ago. Now starting here in UMC, not my favourite track but I do quite enjoy some parts of the circuit as I'm going to absolutely batter into a stupid barrier that is pointing and protruding right into the middle of the circuit. I have played Ride 4 for god knows how long and yet I still make that mistake rather occasionally so yes stupid mistake my winning streak of two is now at jeopardy and I don't think it's gonna happen but look who's in front of us Sergio 23 and on a very similar motorcycle also having a tough time in the beginning I think he was taken out or well, there was certainly some sort of mistake but it's down to us now to go from the back of the grid and charge all the way to the front and hopefully win this race but if not hey ho we'll try and get the podium in the very very least. So breaking now firmly for the left hand side here for the Black Rock hairpin. A little bit of fork, a lot of riders. I was going to get in contact with Liam there. My apologies to Liam, the British rider. Sergio's been uh, hoofed off the circuit as well as I'm now trying to go into the right hand side with a lot of riders here. We're going to try and sneak on through as uh, oh, Liam's on the BMW. He's just cutting the sand there as I better be really careful as he regains the position as it's going to get even more tighter and more hectic, especially going into certain circuits, uh, certain parts of the track like this one. So into the left-hand side, ahead of Wismo, someone else has gone down. Sergio 23 and I are now neck and neck for a third ball. Oh, goodness me, on the grass there and with her hearts in mouth, we are now up into fourth position. So, right, let's recalculate. There was a crazy, hectic first sector, third, and so what, second and third as well, and now chucking the fourth sector as well. Things are starting to calm down somewhat. And no idea what's happening to Sergio's bike ahead of us. I guess we don't really need to let that distract us. But I don't know who's in front of us currently. So up in the inside we'll go into release and hopefully get on through on Sergio 23. It's, uh, Sam Strad? I, I didn't recall seeing that name. Uh, but there he is. He's in second position. Mad Max is leading the way. And looking at the graphic, we've got a big, big gap. Eight and a half seconds is the gap as I'm going to try and outbreak Sergio 23. Very strong on the brakes is Sergio. I'm still trying to adjust from my MotoGP 22 style of braking to Ride 4. And of course, if you watch the other videos from a couple of days ago from Ride 4 online races with the Aces, then definitely you'll know exactly how that sort of went. We were very successful, but I don't want to ruin the video just in case you didn't see it. But into the left-hand side for screen, we'll go for turn four. We have now taken over the position from Sergio 23, but hopefully we can still team up and hopefully chase down Sam Stram. But going a little bit wide there for the Black Rock hairpin, still not too much of a problem. Sergio's still there with us, and I'm sure Sergio, in his wisdom, is quite happy to wait there as well, and hopefully together we can both chase down the rider ahead of us. The gap is currently 5.6 seconds, 5.7. It's going to teeter and oscillate throughout this Grand Prix, but I do know that Sergio and I work well together. He's going to make a move up the inside, let him on through. There's no reason for sh uh, slamming the door in his face there. It would, would only mean more carnage for the rest of us. So into the right hand, into the left hand from second to bad attitude. We l did lose a bit of time there with the exchange with Sergio, but I do believe if he has the speed, he's going to be able to catch up to the second position. We'll get a good understanding in a moment's time to see where we are, but we have lost more time to Mad Max, but I do believe Mad Max on the Kawasaki Z1000. He was on that quite a lot at this particular weekend, and uh, he was rapid. And the bike is really, really good as well, so I don't think we'll be able to catch him up. But if we can fight for second, then that's going to be extremely sensational. So coming out of the final corner now, desperate for that slipstream, as I really, really need a bit more support on the strength and the speed, because we are lacking in that department right now with the Suzuki. GSXR 750. Of course, this Suzuki is what uh, Sergio made for a previous time trial challenge, which was the tenth time trial challenge of the Doctor Race time trial challenge. Is that being? And that's a lot of time. I said DT there. But <laughs> into the right hand side for the Dream Boat. Really tight to the apex there and on the rumble strip. Still looming, but not close enough yet to even consider a possible chance in the next couple of laps towards uh, the man in second place. But we'll continue to push as much as we possibly can. Sergio is an excellent reference. They're going to get really close to Sergio there. Massive bump as I really, really tried to slam on the brakes, but the front tyre got really warm there and just didn't want to slow down, but that was a scary moment. 
almost hoofing the Belgian A straight off his motorcycle there. It was an apology from my behalf. I was just really eager to chase him down and use as much slipstream as possible because we're running out of time. We're really, really running out of time. So to the right hand side, we'll go nice and tight to the apex. A small mistake there as a code is hurtled into the middle of the circuit. That would have been, oh my goodness, he's gone. The man in second place is gone. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Gloves are now off. But there's no point in working together. Sergio, I'm coming for you, mate. We've been good friends forever, and I hope this doesn't <laughs> affect our friendship anymore after this Grand Prix. But let's do battle. It's time. So into the left-hand side for the clubhouse corner. Sergio 23. If you've seen my videos before, he'll know to close off for this corner here into the wind-up for turn 15. I know he has, so we'll see what happens in the next lap because we've got to try and line something up as we go up in the inside into release contact made as we then come out of the final corner desperate for that slipstream he knows i need that slipstream the combination of my tires right now are actually matching the golf livery on his motorcycle we've got an orange front tire and a blue rear tire not sure why the rear is so cold a little bit of a speed wobble there as well on board the suzuki as we go into the sunset bend for the final time of today's video bringing on the power we're going to go for that really tight apex across the rumble strip if we can because it gives you that little bit extra time as we go right into the rear of sergio get it into the left hand side really close to another bump as well goodness me it's just i'm carrying so much corner speed on the suzuki compared to his his, he has the straight line speed, we have the corner speed. Do we have the power to get up on the inside? It's going to be a ding-dong of a battle, this one is. As we now go to the left-hand side, we're desperate to get on through. Just how? Just when? When's it coming? Do we get through? Do we go for it in bad attitude, first attitude and all that nonsense? If we do, we're going to have to be a little bit closer than this. To the right-hand side, it's going to be crucial. I do feel we can go for that tighter line compared to Sergio, so hopefully... This will yield some extra time for us. Sergio's got really wild. He's getting held up on a cone there ever so slightly. But to the left-hand side for first attitude. Got a little bit of penalty down there for God knows what reason. But we'll go to the left-hand side on a bad attitude. We're up on the inside. Do we have the line? Do we have the lunge? Sergio not yielding. He goes wider and onto the rumble strip. Smart decision. I'm not going to try and push him off because, for goodness sake, the man makes my liveries. But to the left-hand side now into the clubhouse corner. Sergio, how's your defence, mate? Up on the inside for the right, he's playing it really good, but we're just abusing the rumble strip here as we kind of do what we possibly can now. To the left-hand side for release. Oh, it's a Lorenzo Rossi move. Oh, it's stunning. It's absolutely beautiful, but is it enough? Bringing on the power and across the line, we do take a valiant, valiant second place. My God, what a battle with a man on board the Yamaha. So guys, thank you very much for watching as always. I need a chance to catch my breath, so... I guess I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and ciao for now. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe as well if I didn't say that already. Ciao for now. Oh hi, didn't quite see you there. Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Trace content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dot Trace video.